So we're uh, made it out to base camp here in Costa Rica um, for our jungle survival training. I got uh, Matt here with me. There's Matt. Wave the camera, Matt. He's a Sigma Three instructor hey, Jerry, for Arkansas like and uh, oh. owner of Integrated Survival Systems. This is Buddy Ralph. Ralph being cool. There's Alberto. He's our Sigma 3 instructor for Costa Rica. You want to say hi to the camera? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> That's where we'll be staying tonight, I believe. What do you think? And just our base camp. Pay attention to this type of roofing. So this is what we're going to use in the, this technique is what we're going to use in the jungle for uh, for roofing in the shelter. This is made of a small palm called Suita palm, right? So uh, we'll find plenty of that palm in the jungle, but uh, we're going to use this exactly roofing technique for for the shelters. So did they build this? Yeah. We are headed out into the jungle, to Costa Rica. Got probably about a. Three or four mile hike till we reach our destination. We'll cross a few streams or rivers across along the way. When you hit a water source out here, you're sure to uh, drink as much water as you possibly can. Fill all your containers. Uh, even as, as lush and green and as it is out here, we sweat it off pretty fast. And the water's not always easy to come by. Um, it's probably about, I don't know, maybe 75, 80 degrees here with high humidity. You know, I'm definitely not used to humidity. Colorado, it's pretty dry, but we're up here. We're gonna take a break and then we're gonna head on out. See this vine here? Uh -huh. you, have, you have all these scales uh -huh. in this red color. So what you want to do, I'm just going to cut it from here because you got to cut a big, you got to cut both sections. And then cut it from the bottom. That's your water vine. <laughs> now this water is 100% pure, no purification, no nothing, it's actually kind of fresh. Good and if you notice, it's pouring a lot of that water vine. Mm -hmm. Good neck, I guess. Pretty heavy. I got you. <laughs> That's good. That's a, I mean, it's pretty fresh. good, fresh water, yeah. Want some? Do I get a fresh one or which one do I get? Huh? It's heavy. You can try not to put your lips to it because it kind of gets inside. There's another one here. I want that one. This one, this one got gold. Oh man. I'm blowing the horn of Odin. It's got a woodsy taste, which is pretty good. I can definitely take a lot to fill the thermos though. Four wheel drive low.
It's just like eating French fries. Really? Yeah, you'll get addicted on that. Is that that one at the bottom of the hill? As it starts to go up the other hill, the big yeah, one. Yeah, that that one here. You see the leaves are kind of like knives pouring out the side. Oh, I see. It's got fruit see coming off of it. Yeah, you see? Yeah. What'd you call? What'd you call it again? Breadfruit tree. Breadfruit. 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 Very important tree to learn. During the rainy season, that thing is going to be pouring down fruit. Huh? No big deal. Tell you what, guys. Which and I noticed there's a couple of them that might be just right. Might as well just go for it, man. All right. Have some breadfruit. Let's see if we can get it through there. So I mean during the during the rainy season, the the spores fruit about this big. Oh. Really, really big. And a lot of animals come in at night to eat a tap here, podcast and everything. It's an absolutely great place to set up a kind of bear, trap, whatever. So we got the uh, fruit off the breadfruit tree. Um, the uh, inner flesh is edible. I think it has a consistency of like that overripe avocado. Um, and it's a little bit fruity, but pretty bland tasting. It's not bad. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to cook it. I guess you fry it up or you just eat it raw. The skin's not edible. Um, high in carbs, great food out here in the jungle. So there is the breadfruit tree. The the uh, one that we just ate was overripe or about right where you want to eat it. The ones up in the trees are going to be hard like a potato. So this is the breadfruit tree, guys. Another interesting fact. If you have like uh, sore muscles or a bruise or something, you make a cut here, you feel the smell, the smell coming out. You take a shemag, a piece of flax or something, you soak on it, you put on your bruise, and it will help a lot with the pain. Okay? And also this stuff, uh, because it's also a family of the rubber trees, you see it's starting to get hard. Oh. Yeah. After a while, I mean, when we come tomorrow, after a while, that thing will be so sticky. And some of the locals use it as a bird trap. You know, they, they'll put some fr fruit on the branch, you know, and just rough all the stuff in it, and the birds will come and try to eat that fruit, and they'll hit, and their legs will stick to that glue. You see the leaf structure, kind of like knives coming out. The points. I have no idea what this call is called. Guava. We saw it the other day. What's it called? Guava. Guava? Guava, yes. Guava. The guava you can inside is a bean for a big seed. Yeah. Let's see if I can break it open here with my hands. Pot seed pot thing from tree. You see that? The uh, seed is not edible, but that white pulp around it is very fruity, very tasty. Let me see if I can get that down brutal. Yeah, this is a really good one. Yeah, this, this is this is this is how about you want to get it. That's does the uh, does that outer white uh, shell that you eat does it have uh, is it high in starch carbs? It's uh, really sweet, so you got a lot of uh, sugar in it. But there's this is exactly how you want to get it. You there's the, there's the seed and the pulp, so you just eat the pulp mm -hmm. around it. Good stuff. It's kind of sweet. Okay, they use it as a, even a coffee. Uh, they use it as a coffee sweetener. But one of the very important things is that it's great for diarrhea. Any kind of stomach pain that you have, uh, con water contamination, bacteria, whatever, anything that may cause a severe diarrhea, you know, this is the way you take care of it with leche de vaca. This is a family of the uh, rubber trees. So eventually this milk that Luis is collecting here is going to get hard and once it gets it gets hard it can also be used as a natural uh, glue right so it doesn't get hard in your stomach huh doesn't get, it doesn't hard, get hard in the stomach but there you go i mean no. you no. noticing how dehydrated no. we're no. getting from all the water <laughs> I like it. so <laughs> a diarrhea under these circumstances <laughs> in the jungle will be absolutely disastrous that's horrible okay so this is the way to take care of it's it it's not bad back home i mean it's 
Okay, man. Yeah. You had a shot, yeah. Man. Me and I have been a lot worse. Cause, I mean, I don't know what. It's a little dry. Yeah. A little chalky. Chalky, yeah, chalky. How long will it bleed? Well, it will bleed there for a while. So you probably just got some kind of a pipe in there and mm -hmm. have a little catch basin. Doesn't taste like Elmer's glue at all. <laughs> that is a puff. <laughs> yeah. Does it okay? Like <laughs> and black and kind of like a light brown. It has like a camel pattern on it. And what's it called again? Bacon. Bacon. The ba leche de vaca. Yeah. Leche de vaca. It's a family of the rubber trees. Who's machete? And it's good for your belly. Diarrhea. What's that stomach? It's like bad like pesto. <laughs> so much for keeping your feet dry. It's a fish. There's a little fish in that water. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's just a diversity of trees here is ridiculous. You know, I talk about in Colorado all the time, I, at least where I'm at. It's just always just pine and aspen, pine, aspen, and spruce. I'm just so jealous of what they got going on here. Look at this. What do we got up here? It's just beautiful down here. I come out here and disappear. Stay here for a very long time. But only after I learn what's good to eat, what's not good to eat, what's good to touch, what you don't want to stay away from. Because one slip up out here, and you're done for. And uh, you gotta be careful with your knives. There's Matt, Sigma 3, Arkansas. You know, you cut yourself with a knife, it's very easy to get an infection out here, so you be careful. We got a water supply out in the jungle, as I mentioned before. Anytime you come across water, you're going to drink your fill as much as you possibly can. Fill all your canteens, water bladders, whatever you got. I've got a handful of Sawyer water bags, and then I carry my 40-ounce uh, clean canteen that I use for boiling water and cooking. But that's up in my pack. That's full. So I'm just going to fill these guys up, and I'll be good to go. But there's Ralph. I'm gonna fill these up and I'll see you later. <clears throat> so, check out this uh, nice little, pretty, cool, normal, boring looking piece of grass. The edges on it are rigid and have these little barbs. They call it razor gr grass. It'll cut you wide open. Looks like grass. If you learn how to identify this tree in the jungle, you pretty much have your food needs covered. Okay? This right here it's a species of a part of palm. It's called palmito raton. There are three species here. We got the uh, normal part of palm, the sweet one, and we also have the uh, the chonta, right? 
and uh, let's see if I can cut us a nicer one because I think I, I saw a nicer one down there. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna restart and cut another one because I saw this one. Eh, this, this, I mean, for, for, for the video demonstration and everything, I'd rather have you guys cut the other one. Okay? But before we do that, let's just walk a little bit more. Look at it. See on top how the leaves are really thin and they spread out. But the main thing that gives it away is the root. You see how the root system is? Mm -hmm. It's kind of all like red. Walking palm, just kind of like the walking too. palm. And there's a walking palm right there. Okay? Yeah, like palm. Now knowing that, right here there's two hard of palm. Can you spot them? They're in there? Yeah. Two of them right there. So I figured, and maybe that one? Is that one? Yeah, that one too. So right here we got three of them. I figured it's gonna be easier to cut perhaps that one instead of this one because this one is gonna most likely fall down there. So we're gonna have to go down there to uh, harvest the palm. So let's just go ahead and get started with that one. Is we'll that just, a big one? Yeah. It's gonna be a hot, that's, that's gonna be a nice amount of food inside of it. like something really simple you know when it comes to using machete you always come down 45 degrees down and 45 degrees up chipping off the thing you start going around it Like a big ass tree. <laughs> yeah, I know. This way you want to fall, Alberto. Huh? You want to fall this way? Or? Yeah, I want to fall this way. Up here. What's up next? Matt will knock that bad boy down in one fell swoop. Two, three, four. Oh, never mind. 45 degrees down, 45 degrees up. And Matt, sometimes those vines and that stuff gets on the way, so it's just a good idea to just clear as much around the... To your left. And also those vines hanging, yeah, just all that stuff may get on the way, so just clear it up. Dejalo que ellos lo hagan con este. Okay, lo hagan con eso. Hey, beer. Yeah. Yeah, Which way are you going to drop that? Drop it that way. Uphill? Uphill? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go down there with it. Well, I wasn't sure if you're gonna drop it over here. Keep the back. Keep the back and pack. But Ralph, 
if you get I mean, do it from the side because if you're directly behind it, that trunk may come up and hit you right away. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to cut this at all. What? It's making noise. I'm running, so get out of my way. Well, I think as soon as you start hitting that back side, it's going to come down. Luis? He's going to right at you? Okay. No, I'm the you think it's going to come this way? Yeah, it's looking. Right, huh? Yeah. Tíralo para allá, mejor. Pues de agua y de agua. No, ya. Ah. Para allá, tíralo para allá. Más o no más. Sí, right, right. Aquí. Aquí está. Yeah, it's going to fall right there. Yeah, let it fall this way. You come up? Two, three. Might roll. Make a noise. Yeah, it's coming down. It's moving. You're supposed to run up that and ride it on its way down. So there's where we're after. But I could right there. See, you see again. that Cut green. Again, yeah. that green is green. Okay. Yeah, we need to cut it right here. So. Go for it, man. Okay, why didn't you have a good one? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, it's a big one. Keep it there. All right. This one's going after some heart of palm. How many would that feed? Huh? How many would that feed? If we're lucky, two of us. Two of us. And one meal. After yeah. it's cooked. No, you can eat it raw. So we're going to eat some of it raw. Really? And then try and then roast it later. You better? Huh? No, this one is actually sweet. Hmm? So you got oh, cut up small pieces or how you okay? No, no. Let's, let's take that with that. Where we have the uh, black cats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you get like a little branch coming out. Oh, we got lucky, man. Oh, wow! Good. You got a flower coming out of it. You good? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got lucky, man. There was another flower coming out. Kind of it. nutty flavor, almost. You roast it with a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, yeah, see? This whole part? Filled with carbs and edible. It tastes like every roasted. How far up can you go with it, Alberta? Okay. It's sweeter. This is sweeter than the last bite. You see all this stuff? Uh huh. This was all the uh, the seed pots that's going to grow in the future. Mm. You eat this stuff as well, man. It's more mm -hmm. bitter, but it's just carbs and food. Yeah. All the stuff you can eat, man. All inside of it. So let's just take this thing uphill, uh, finish scraping it. Better. And get to the bottom of a hot palm, and uh, we'll save it if we may. Uh, when we make a fire, we're just gonna roast this thing with a little bit of salt. No it's gonna be great. It'll be awesome. I'm trying to get this. Let me see if it 